This is a Let's Talk Church Safety and Security Microsode with your host, Paul Buckner. Hey, Sheepdogs. So I have not been on as often. Uh, there'll be some more videos coming down the pipe soon uh, talking about church safety. But I want to talk about preventing targets of opportunity. And this is one of those things that's tough because a lot of people, they don't want to take the extra second to lock their vehicle or whatever. Someone recently contacted me and uh, today and let me know that in their small community, um, there were some people going around on a really cold night um, target of opportunity, they were opening vehicles that were not locked and they were emptying out. Um, I mean, you're, you're losing your pocket change and your Ray-Bans. And uh, in one case, there were keys in it and they stole a vehicle which was found about 40 minutes away. Preventing targets of opportunity. And a lot of it comes down to, even with a locked vehicle, I mean, you can take, um, I've seen people break a spark plug, break an old spark plug and use the sharp chunk of ceramic to break side glass. And so they'll pop it and it really isn't that loud. And then they'll rake the glass back and reach in, unlock the door or whatever. And I have seen vehicles targeted for the pocket change of the console. Um, and it, it's not even, you know, looking for the purse or whatever. And that's where a lot of bad guys get firearms. They get, um, they get a hold of expensive camera equipment, laptops, things like that is they will, they will, uh, open a vehicle that's unlocked or in plain view through the window, they will look down and they will see an item and they'll break out the side glass to get to it. And I remember somebody telling me, I can't tell you the exact dollar amount, but it was like less than $2 worth of change. And somebody broke out their side glass because the, the thief uh, that's doing this is not concerned about your insurance claim and the fact that you're gonna have to replace your glass and, and go through all that heartache. They're looking for their next fix. And, um, and in some cases, I uh, recently, now that I'm in law enforcement, I saw an instance where um, someone had created this little treasure trove, like a pirate's bag of loot, of $10 watches. I mean, it was just the most ridiculous thing. I don't think there was anything in that bag that was worth over a $100 bill, but they had stolen it and had this, like, cache of loot that they had that they had taken. And that's where security cameras are huge um, and creating additional proper lighting, the way that you, the way that you, you do church safety by design if you're designing a new campus but a lot of it is just really simple stuff and if you have a roving patrol again we're not going to get into shoot shootouts with people for breaking into a vehicle we're not going to kill people over property i'm not saying that we don't want to harm people because they're breaking into a vehicle but we can notify law enforcement and get law enforcement in route and a lot of times just that presence seeing seeing the guys in the safety vests out in the parking lot that are that are parking cars or seeing somebody walking around. I know of a church where they were having a major problem with catalytic converter thefts. And so what they ended up doing was um, they, they actually had a couple of catalytic converters uh, cut off of vehicles in their parking lot, in, in, their, in the farthest reaches of their parking lot. So they started positioning on a, like a side-by-side -side or, a, or a, a golf cart or something. They started rotating security team members out there to be eyes and ears because bad guys don't want somebody to see them and they don't want to be caught in the act. And it was just a really interesting, it's just really interesting to think about those things. Keeping stuff hidden and things that are, that are keeping them out of plain view. And it's one of those things that if you have have a church newsletter, if you if you ever shoot out uh, email blasts, maybe they include an article in there. A lot of times people don't think about it. It's not real until they see a news bite about it. Maybe include an article in there about how um, every year this many, you know, this many million dollars worth of property are stolen out of parking lots. And not just at the mall. A lot of times they are targeting people uh, at houses of worship. So uh, just a little tidbit, a little something to snack on and think about. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. Remember Semper Disciplina, that lifestyle of discipline training. God bless. If you enjoyed this microsode, check out the video and audio versions of the Let's Talk Church Safety and Security podcast.